Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to look at why generators and transformers are rated in voltage ampere and not in watts. In order to understand the problem, let's take a look at the equations associated with voltage ampere and watts. Voltage ampere equals the voltage multiplied by the ampage. Kilo voltage ampere equals the voltage multiplied by the ampage divided by a thousand. Let's now take a look at the equations associated with watts and kilowatts. Watts equals voltage multiplied by ampage multiplied by the power factor. If we're looking at kilowatts, then we'll do voltage multiplied by ampage multiplied by the power factor divided by a thousand. We can see that the equations for voltage ampere and watts are very similar. The difference between the two equations relates to the power factor. Now it is possible that if the power factor equals 1, that voltage ampere also equals watts. However, if the power factor equaled 1, then we would have no need to use watts, because voltage ampere would also equal watts. Therefore, we can assume that the power factor is not the numeral 1. The power factor is defined by the type of load connected to the transformer or generator. Loads are either resistive, inductive, capacitive or a mixture of these. Because transformer and generator manufacturers do not know the load to which the generator or transformer will be connected, it is not possible for them to define the power factor. If the power factor is known, a rating could be given in watts, but the power factor is not known because the load is not known. Therefore, it's not possible to give the transformer or generator a rating in watts. It's for this reason that transformers and generators are rated in voltage ampere. Now that we know why transformers and generators are rated in kVA and not kW, you should realise that motors can be rated in watts or kW. The motor itself is the end load, therefore its power factor is known. If we know the power factor, then we can easily add it to our voltage ampere equation in order to solve for watts. This is the reason why motors are rated in watts, whereas transformers and generators are rated in voltage ampere. This video lesson is part of a Introduction to Electrical Transformers video course. If you click on the link within the video description area, you'll be taken to the Transformers course and you can purchase this course at a special discount price. If you like this video, please do like it or share it on social media. It really does help us out. Thanks very much for your time.